What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over string LCM, which is the second part of part B, problem B, of the Educational Code Forces Round 102. So, um, you define a multiplication operation between string A and positive integer X, where A times X is a result of writing X A times. So, um, what they mean by that is like, let's say I have A, B times 2, so like if I have A, B, C, right, times 2. What they mean when they say times 2, uh, the operation means you just concatenate A, B, C twice, right? So you would have A, B, C, and then A, B, C again, right? That's what they mean by this. So if I had like, um, if I had another another thing like, a, I don't know, K, D, Z or something, right? Now times by 3. What that means is that I just write K, D, Z three times. So I already K, D, Z, K, D, Z, and then K, D, Z. Right. That's what this operation means. So, um, yeah. And then if you add a times five, you just write a five times. So you say a string a is divisible by another string. If they exist X integer X, where you could when you, um, do B times a, a X, you get a, so what they mean by is that, um, here's, here's what they mean by this. So like, if I had like a, B, a, B, a, B, right. And I have a string a, B. They say the, this string is divisible by this string. And the reason why is that uh, if you take uh, any number, right, and then you take this this bottom string, right, you take a number and you multiply it by a 3. If you take AB and you multiply it by 3, you get the first string, right? Because uh, And the reason why if you take AB and multiply it by 3, the reason why you get the first string is because the, the, sec, the first string is equal to the second string concatenated by itself three times. So like if I take AB, multiply by three, and I concatenate by itself, I would get AB, AB, AB. And this string is exactly the same thing as this string, right? So that's why they say it's divisible by each other. So the, the, this is just their definitions they're giving, right? So if you if string A is divisible by another string B, there exists an integer X such that uh, a, a, B times X is equal to A. So that's what they mean by it. Like AB, AB, AB is divisible by AB, but it's not divisible by AA, right? So like, um, if I go to go back to AB, 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 right? So, um, if I take any string AB and I concatenate it three times, I would get this string, right? But, uh, this string and this string AA is not divisible by each other. And the reason why is because I cannot like take a a and concatenate it, uh, add it, uh, concatenate it by itself three times. It's not going to get me a b a b a b, right? Like if I no matter how many times I try to append a a to itself, like I do a a append it by itself like twice a a, it's never going to get me to a b a b a b. So that's why these two are not divisible, not divisible. I shouldn't, uh, I should not have written not equal, not divisible, right? These two are not divisible. So that's what that means. Okay. All right. Uh, LCM of two strings S and T is defined by LCM, which is the shortest non-empty string that is divisible by both S and T. So, um, shortest non-empty string that is divisible by both S and D. And, uh, what that means is that the, let's say I have uh, basically what they mean by the LCM of two is that if you have two strings, it is going to be the shortest string that is divisible by both of them. Right. So that is, if you concatenate it that many times, you will get both of them. So like, uh, in the case, let's go over the first two examples. If you have B, A, B, A and B, A. So if we had, uh, let's say S is equal to, what was it? B, B, A, B, A, right. This string. And then I have T is equal to B A. And if I do LCM of S and T, I should be able to get, uh, the shortest string that is divisible by both of these is going to be B A B A. Okay. And the reason why is that if I were to take T and I concatenate it by itself twice, I would get S, right? So if I take T, so if I take T, which is BA, and I multiply it twice, 
it's going to give me the same answer as S, which is a B A B A, right? This S multiply by once, right? So the LCM of S and T is going to be B A B A, right? Because B A B A is the um, least common multiple that is divisible by both of them. Okay, right? Least common multiple. Okay. Um. Yeah. And uh, we could go over a uh, what is the next one? AA and AAA, right? So if we go over the next one, which is AA and AAA, let's go over that one. So AA is S, and then T is AAA, I think. Is that what they said? Yeah, AAA, right? If you were to concatenate, uh, do, do an operation of AA and AAA you're going to realize that the LCM of both of these is going to be uh, A concatenated six, uh, with six A's. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. And the reason why is because if I take S, right, and I multiply S by like three times, so I take S, uh, yeah, S, which is uh, S is AA, so yeah, I'll just do S. Multiply by three times, that's going to give me T multiplied by two times, right? So like if, um, and the reason why is because if I take a multi AA multiply by three times, I'm going to get, so like AA three times and uh, T is AAA, AAA multiplied by twice. I'm going to get uh, AA and then three of AAs, which is AAA, AAA, AAA and that's going to equal to AAA, which is AAA, 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 right? So this is, um, the least common multiple string would be this a a a a a a a a and because it's uh, the least common that is div divisible by both of these a a and a a a a right uh yeah one two three five six so that's the reason why that's the case um and if you were looked at look at the last statement b a b and yeah a b a and a b a, a b so if we go back we get a b a and then we check a b t is equal to a b um this is going to give return negative one because no matter how many times you concatenate s by a number and t by a number you're not going to get the same string right and um yeah you would get negative one and the reason why is because like uh if i take s and concatenate let's say i take s and i concatenate it i don't know by once right by once and then i take t and i concatenate it by twice so T A B concatenated by twice. I'm going to get A B A B, right? But then that's not going to equal to A B A, right? No matter no matter what. And the reason why it won't work is because like S has an extra A at the end. So no matter how many times you concatenate it, it's not going to work for you. Okay. So um, how did I do this? So now how do you solve this problem? Um, basically what, what I did was I, I took the length, the LCM of the, I basically took the length of both of them. Cause that's going to be the number of times you would do. So, um, what I did was I, let's say I had, uh, let's go back to the first one. Uh, yeah. B A B A and B A B A B A. And then T is B A. Yeah. B A. So if I take this first one right? We take the length of this. This length is four because it's four characters. One, two, three, four. And then if you take the length of this, which is BA, which is two, right? So, um, if, if you were to think, compare with S and T, uh, one of these numbers has, you have to concatenate a certain number of times for each of these numbers in order to get them to, to the same number, right? Like you have to repeat a certain number, X number of times, or T, Y, Y number of times, right? So, um, basically we're trying to get, so basically here, uh, I'll show you what I mean. Like if we have S, we have to concatenate it by like X number of times. That's going to give us a T, which is, this is T, B, A, and we have to concatenate this like Y number of times, right? So we repeat X, uh, we repeat B, A, B, A, X number of times, repeat B, A, Y number of times, they have to be equal to each other, right? So what you could do is you could, if you realize that um, they're going to have to be equal to each other in the, in the end, 
that's actually just the least common multiple of the lengths, right? Of four and two, right? So if you find the least common multiple of the lengths four and uh, with the four two, uh, that's going to be four, right? It's because LCM of four and two is going to give you four, right? And the reason why is because a four times by one is equal to uh, two times by two, right? So if you were to repeat, if you find the LCM of the lengths of both four and two, you would get, you would basically get uh, this, right? The LCM, of which is four, four. So the number that's going to be repeated, X and Y, right? The, the number of times that each string gets repeated is just going to be the, the total LCM divided by the original number of the length of the string, right? And I, 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 could, I could explain it even more again. So like if I take, um, well, let's actually go back. So remember the LCM of four, two is two, right? Um, and then if you take four times by one, you're gonna get two times by two. So in this case, X would be equal to one because you're just repeating one uh, BA, BA one time. And uh, Y would equal to two, right? This is gonna equal Y is equal to two. And X, this X is equal to one because you're, and this is because you repeat uh, Y is equal to two because you repeat BA twice, right? You repeat BA twice. So what you could do is you basically just take the LCM of the lengths, right? Then you divide the, uh, the LCM of the lengths by each individual, each individual length of the string. And then you repeat that, no, that number of times. And then you check if they're equal to each other, right? Because if uh, if you were to repeat it that number of times and they're equal to each other, that means that you could definitely you could basically are divisible. That would be the least common multiple of the string. So um, yeah, let's actually go over the example of baba -B and ba again. So like let's say I so here baba -B -A and uh, t is equal to ba. Right. So the LCM of both of these, so this length is four, this is two. LCM of four and two is two, uh, not two, four. LCM of four and two is four, right? So that means that basically four is going to be the length of the end string that we want, right? At the end, the, the length of the string in the end that we want, right? Because that, that's what's going to be. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this four and I'm going to divide it by the length of S. So the length of S is four, right? So I'm going to take four divided by four. It gives me one and I'm going to concatenate S by itself one time. So I'm going to compute S times one and that's going to be B A B A times by one, which is going to get you B A B A, right? That's what's what, what's going to get you. Then now for BA, LCM of both of these two lengths is four, right? Four divided by two is two, right? Four divided by two is two, right? Four divided by two is two. So I'm going to concatenate BA twice. So here I'm going to have BA. Uh, let's actually, yeah, BA here. I'm going to multiply by two. So I'm going to get BA, BA, right? And then, so because I have these strings now, all I have to do is just check if these strings are equal. So like here for T, for T, uh, T multiplied by two is going to be B, B, A, B, A. S multiplied by one is going to be B, A, B, A. Therefore, the end of the string, they're both equal. And the answer would be B, A, B, A. If I can't multiply them together, then I just print negative one. And we could actually go, go over an example of that. So here, we could do B, uh, we could try the last example, A, B, A, and A, B. So the last example is A, B, A, and A, B, right? So this is S, and this is T. Okay, so the LCM of this length and this length, so S's length is three, because there's three characters. T's length is two, because there's two characters. So the LCM of S and T, right, least common multiple is going to be six, right, because three times two is six, right? So the total length of the end of the string is going to be six. So our total length end of the string is six. 
So now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take six divided by three, which gets me two. So six over three is two. And I'm going to repeat S times by two, right? Concatenate S by itself two times. So that's going to give me A, B, A multiplied by two, which is gonna give me A, B, A, A, B, A. Okay, so that's my last string of S. Now let's look at T. T, uh, T's length is two. Remember our length of our final string is six. Six divided by two is three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna concatenate T three times. So T times by three is going to be B times by three, which is gonna give me A, B, A, B, A, B. Okay, so now because I know that both of these are, this is gonna be the end of the string, assuming I get the LCM of both of them, right? And S is the end of the string would be A, B, A, A, B, A. All I have to do is check if these two are equal. So now um, S and T are they equal? So we have A, B, A, B, A, B, and A, B, A, B, A. There's an extra A here. So it's not equal, right? So it's not equal. These are not equal. So therefore this is impossible. So I would print ne negative one. And we could just go over the code that I wrote. Now let's actually just go over the code. It's actually not that difficult. Um, yeah, so here I take the lengths, I uh, read in the string S and W. Oh, it should be T, but uh, whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, um, here I get the lengths of all of them because I don't feel like writing dot size over and over again. So here N is the length of the string S and M is the length of the string W. And then I get the LCM of both the lengths, right? V, I to get the LCM, calling the LCM function. And that's going to get me the length of the final string that we have in the end, right? L is equal to six, right? Length of the final string that we have in the end. Then what I do is I say, okay, I'm gonna create a new string for both the, uh, each of these. And for that new string, I'm going to concatenate that number of times, okay? So here S, uh, the new string of S is gonna be like ABA, and I'm just gonna concatenate it that by three times. You know, these are the two new strings that we're gonna check. So here I'm gonna hear what I do is I do, okay, K is equal to S, E is equal to W, so these are two new strings, and then I'm just gonna loop through over them, okay? Um, I start with one, and I'm gonna loop through uh, V over N times. So V is the LCM, both of them. Uh, I was kind of rushing when I was typing this because I wanted to submit fast, so yeah, I just used V, but um, it's better readability if you just use LCM and M, but yeah. This is just taking the LCM, the length that we had, and then dividing it by each of the lengths of the string. And that'll tell you then how many times you have to concatenate by the number. So that's what I do there, there. okay? Or I also have to check if there, it's greater than one. Because if it's not greater than one, you can't really concatenate that many number of times, right? Because if it's zero, then you don't really want to concatenate it. So yeah. Um, and then I do I plus plus, and then I basically just concatenate with the string by itself. So K plus equal to S. And here I do the same thing with the other string of E, right? This is the second string that I'm concatenated. And I concatenate it that many number of times. Okay, and in the end, I just check if K is equal equal to E, which means if they're this equal to each other. And if that's true, I just print K, otherwise I print negative one. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. The code isn't that difficult. Um, I was pretty surprised that I actually solved this problem because I don't know, normally B's, problem B's are really difficult. To me, problem B's are like really, really difficult, but I was very surprised that I solved this problem. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of how to solve this question. So I could repeat myself again. Um, get the lengths of the, both of the string, right? Of S and T, of both of the strings. Call LCM on them, and get the least common multiple of both of the strings. That'll be the, the total length of the end of the string. Take this total length and divide it by each of the individual lengths of each of the individual lengths of the string. And that will give you how many times you're going to concatenate it, the individual string, right? So here it would be six divided by three would get you two. So that would be the number of times con concatenate S by itself two times, right? And here it would be six divided by two, which gives you three and concatenate T that number of times. Right, so once you find that number, just concatenate it with itself that number of times, and then just check if they're equal to each other, right? And then if that's the case, then you're done. You're pretty much done. 
So yeah, that's how you do this problem. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. I'm really tired. Peace.